Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Delegation of Western Armenia in service, events dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Treaty of Service. Treaty of Service remains the essential document for fair resolution of Armenian questions. Sarkisian. The magnificent Akhtamar of Lake Van is on its way to be included in the permanent list of UNESCO. Excavations continue in the ruins of Ani, Western Armenia. Third plane with humanitarian aid from Armenia has for Beirut. On August 10, 2020, the government of delegation of Western Armenia, headed by President Armen Akabaramian, visited the city of Service and took part in the events dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Treaty of Service. The event started in the yard of Porcelain Museum of Service, where the Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan, made a speech. Then the attendees moved to the Great Hall, where the Treaty of Service was signed on August 10, 1920. Those present observed a minute of silence in memory of the innocent victims of the genocide against Armenians. The president of Western Armenia, Armenia government, delivered a speech in the Great Hall, the message of which is presented below. Mr. President, on behalf of the Armenian people of Western Armenia and genocide survivors, we greet you and express our deep gratitude on the occasion of the centenary of the Treaty of Service signed on August 10, 1920. After the end of World War I, in 1920, the victorious allies signed an international peace treaty in service, of which Articles 88 to 93, among others which apply to Armenia, are legally binding on Turkey, part of the treaty, renewing its recognition on the independence of Armenia, and later allowing U.S. President Woodrow Wilson to sign an arbitral award, November 22, 1920, officially delimiting the border between Turkey and Western Armenia. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the multilateral treaty signed by more than 21 states and the ratification of which is not limited by any fixed deadline. Consequently, Turkey, which after the entry into force of the Treaty of Lausanne in 1923 on August 6, 1924, according to Article 16 and 25 of this treaty, renounced all the territories which are not recognized as sovereignty of Turkey, namely and including Western Armenia. Today, Turkey occupies territories belonging to Western Armenia. The Armenia, which ratified the Treaty of Service on June 24, 2016. We await your active mediation on this issue and we hope that your country will do everything possible to allow Turkey to end the occupation of Armenian territories. On behalf of the Armenian people of Western Armenia and our authorities, we once again express our deep gratitude to your state. Best records Armen Akabaramian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Basam Tahan, deputy of the National Assembly, also delivered the speech in the hall. After the technical break, the participants of the event continued the ceremony that started in the yard near the Khachkar commemorating the genocide against Armenians. Lydia Markosian, member of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Leonardo Brasmajan, president of the National Assembly, made speeches. The participants summed up the event by performing the anthem of Western Armenia. The full version of the event is available on our website and YouTube channel. Armenian President Armen Sarkisian sat down with the Syrian Allah's Mena newspaper for an exclusive interview on the Treaty of Service, as on August 10, 2020 marked the 100th anniversary of its signing. Within the framework of the interview, the President of the Republic of Armenia said the following. The Treaty of Service on its essence was a peace treaty, and with this regard it really could have solved fundamentally one of the thorniest for our region problems, the Armenian issue. Turkey and Armenia agreed to leave the demarcation of the borders between the two countries in Erzurum, Drabzon, Van, and Bitlis provinces to the decision made by the United States. I would rather say that the Treaty of Service was not fully ratified, which means it remains unperfected, and it is true that when it comes to Armenia, its decisions were not implemented, because the international political situation had changed. But at the same time, it was never denounced either. You can read the full interview on Armen Press website. The Akhtamar Church, which has been turned into a memorial museum in Western Armenia, is one of the one's most important historical and tourist values, which is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. It was included in the list three years ago. The opening ceremony of Akhtamar Church as memorial museum took place with the participation of then Minister of Culture and Tourism Atilla Koch, as well as the Armenian Patriarch of Turkey, Mr. Mutafian, the Republic of Armenia Deputy Minister of Culture, Kagi Gürcan, the ambassadors of 30 countries and Armenian representatives. 
Along with some of the structures found during the excavations, the church restoration works were also carried out in the sections of monastery and chapel. The Akhtamar Memorial Museum, where Armenian citizens are allowed to hold liturgy once a year, is waiting to be included in the permanent UNESCO World Heritage List. The church is presented as a symbol of tolerance and sincerity. New excavations have begun in the ruins of Ani, which is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The excavations, which involved many archaeologists, architects, anthropologists, especially art historians, were divided into three stages, environmental, improvement and cleaning. This year, the work continues in five different areas. During the excavations, ceramic items and coins belonging to some civilizations living in the area during the Middle Ages were found. The excavations, which started on July 6, will continue until September 10. The third plane loaded with 12 tons of humanitarian aid headed for burial. Deputy Prime Minister de Gran Avignon informs Armenia and Artsakh will thus provide Lebanon with more than 36 tons of essential goods, food, and medicine. 56 Lebanese Armenians have returned home on the previous two flights. The third plane will fly 45 people to Yerevan. Those who have returned were left homeless and without livelihood as a result of explosion in Beirut. The Armenian people stand by brotherly Lebanon. Our support will be continuous. The Deputy Prime Minister mentioned. Now let us represent your attention a song Aravot Luso. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.